I'm here for money. Money. We're not security guards, little girl. That's just our cover. Oh. That explains why your tour was so bad. <laughs> There's only three things we're going to do. Sneak into the museum, find the amulet, and take your epithet. Bitch, I hope the fuck you do! You'll be a dead son of a bitch, I tell you that! Oh, I'm sorry. What's the most dangerous thing you guys have done? Loiter outside the mini mall? Shoplift some bubble gum? Uh, loitering is a perfectly respectable crime that can be very dangerous. How? No, it can't. How? You could do it in front of a truck. <laughs> what? That's the rule. I just thought about that. That's the rule, right? Hey, tall guy! You could have at least trapped us inside the dinosaur bones, like how I requested to be buried in my will! Yeah, no big deal, but I wrote my last will and testament because I live my life in constant danger. I wrote my last will and testament because life is fleeting and you never know when you or a loved one will die. Kids, could you lighten up a little? I don't know. They were kind of... bad? Hey! Don't you talk about my boys that way! They're trying their best! But you have a point. I don't know if I can beat that lady now that I'm boyless. Um, phrasing? Now, bear trap! As Minion, it's your job to think of a way out of this and do all the work. As your manager, I will wait here and take credit for your success and berate you if needed. Oh, so it's like working in retail. Yeah, you got it! Okay, I can do that. That woman is your boss, right? She is my master! Years ago, Lady Mera bested me in an honorable duel. Welcome to the party! Oh my god! Thanks for coming, Sammy! Oh, I do my family's taxes, too. Yes, I have not yet mastered the taxes. <laughs> me neither. I have so many return statements to file. Nobody said to me, Ma! I blame our schools! So, your job is to protect her, right? Yes! Well, Mr. Giovanni attacked her earlier. Yes! But I stopped her from taking any damage with my epithet. Yes! So, I saved your master for you. That means you owe me a favor. That makes sense. You can't fix stupid. <laughs> you don't need to feel bad about lying anymore. That's one of the perks of being a bad guy. Oh, okay. Can I borrow your cell phone? I want to order a pizza. Oh, yeah. Pizza sounds great. Thanks. Hi, police. Hello, this is police. What? No, stop that! Congratulations, you played yourself. He touches his hand to the barrier and looks longingly at his pile of boys. Hey, phrase it! Like a maiden looking out to sea. Wait for me, my boys. I shall return for you. Gay! Oh, <laughs> okay, I get it. That little girl must have used her dumb epithet to make you stupid enough to ignore my orders and let them go. Nope, I'm just like that. Urge to kill, rising. Excuse me. Back, minion! In the name of my lady, you shall face my fist! Thank God, I was about 10 seconds away from strangling him. Well, the exhibit's not open yet, so how about you go home and wait a few weeks like everyone else? Waiting behind red tape is for the general public. Screw the rules, I have money! And trust me, if I'm the one dealing with those thieves, They'll be out cold before they have a chance to make the same mistake. <laughs> okay. Molly takes a small sewing kit out of her backpack and starts fashioning the grizzly bear a yellow bandana with the letters BB on it. Oh, you carry around a sewing kit too, huh? Yeah. My dad breaks a lot of stuff around the house, so it's good to have supplies on hand. Yes. 
in your membership fee, you'll be an official Bonsai Blaster, too. Membership fee? <laughs> yeah! Totally 90s on two CDs or two cassettes. You won't find this one in any store. My family runs a toy store. My dad makes the toys, and my mom used to sell them. But after she died, dad and my sister kind of just... ignored the situation? But we still needed to eat and no one was doing anything, so... I guess I just kind of... took over. I thought it'd just be for a little while. But it's been almost two years now and things still aren't normal again. I still work at the store most nights because my dad and my sister are, um, busy. I'm supposed to be there now, actually, but all this happened. I hope they don't get mad at me again. I said, I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm just gonna bash your brains in. I'm gonna bash them right the fuck in. <laughs> He waves his hand and a herd of sheep stampede out of the ether with a chorus of bad! Bear trap! Attack! I, I don't have a weapon! Oh, my bad. Here, take my standard issue bonsai blaster pea shooter. He drops a gun in her hand. Jesus. Now. Why don't the two of you just stay put until the police arrive? I'll keep that fire where it is, so long as you don't try anything funny. Giovanni! Bear trap? Molly clutches the hem of Giovanni's cape and hides against his leg. She's crying. No! <laughs> I'm going to kill you? And then kill you again. You can't seriously be planning to sprint through that fire. Not quite. You seriously think you could beat me with a ball of yarn? Not on my own. But when I combine my strength with bear traps, anything is possible. Sorry about this bear trap. Standard minion procedure. It's fine. I'm used to being taken advantage of. Here's Johnny! <laughs> Alright. That's it. No more Dr. Nice Guy. You forced me to use my ultimate attack! Dream Big! Is that it? Your ultimate attack is passing out? <laughs> what a dork. Never mess with Giovanni Potage, because he is great. Uh, Giovanni? Please, please, call me boss. Boss! Yes, what is it, my faithful minion?